All right, Mopar people, welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. Last time, I was doing some testing on the Barracuda with the Harlan Sharp rocker arm versus the 440 Source rocker arm. Testing the lift at the valve. Uh, a lot of y'all called me out in the comments because I misread the dial indicator. As I was laying over the front of the engine, holding a large ratchet, turning the engine over, I did look at it incorrectly. And I said 610 thousandths instead of 605. So I apologize for that five thousandths. Hopefully today you'll see what's going on. What I wanted to do is a comparison video now before I bolt these new rockers on of a long push rod versus a short push rod. If you'll remember a while back I had some push rods that I had cut down for this low deck engine and I'm comparing them to the ones that I bought. So when I swapped rocker arms I thought I would try the longer push rod to see what, how much lift would change at the valve itself. I think it's an interesting test. I've probably gone a long time thinking that push rod length didn't matter in this situation because the adjuster would just take that amount out. That's incorrect, and here's why. So hopefully y'all enjoy the video. I'll put in the previous clip of showing what the shorter push rod lift is at the valve, and we'll see what the longer one is. Then. So we're gonna try two different push rods now and measuring them, let me back up. The difference is 125,000. So this is 580. Eighty-two. That's where we were last time. Five ninety. Still going. Six hundred. Six. That's it. Six ten. That's it. It's going back now. That's it right there. I'll keep turning it over. So we're at 610 right now. And we had 582 before. Here is the longer push rod in. And it is relashed to two thousandths. Because this is these are solid roller lifters on a hydraulic roller cam, if that confuses you. Um, it's been working well for me so far. That's set up. And I'll spin the crap. Now we're moving. One hundred. One fifty. Two hundred. Two fifty. Three hundred. Three fifty. Four hundred. Four fifty. 500, 550, 500. Look at that. We're not gonna make 600. It just went back. So 594, what I'm gonna call that. And just like we did last time, I'm going to go the opposite direction. I'm sorry, I'll just keep going till we get back to the back side and see if we end up back on zero and that our dial indicator was happy. Ooh. Getting close. There's our happy zero. I can even go past it and it'll stay there a while. That's it. So here, here are a few reasons why the longer push rod, which when we measured was about 125 thousandths. And the only way we had of measuring was from the outside of this cup to the very tip. So if you'll notice on my small end or my round end, this is a little finer end, so that could go a little bit deeper into the solid roller lifter. So that could that could make a difference. 
Uh, the other thing to account for is the depth of the cups because these are, you can clearly see two different kinds of cups. They both take the same uh, engagement nut on the rocker arm, but there could be a different depth there. So combining the difference in those depths and those depths, this push rod is at least a hundred thousandths longer and it is still uh, slightly too long. I'll show you on the engine. There we are on the bottom side of that rocker. You can see the amount of adjuster here that's sticking out the top. That matters less. What matters here, we're looking for uh, zero to two threads. So we don't quite, it's not even hanging out the bottom of that first thread. As you can kind of see here, my other adjuster, uh, which was basically correct, it has about a thread and a half on it. So hopefully uh, you saw the other video. I did a comparison between the rocker ratio of a Harlan Sharp 1.6 rocker and a 440 Source 1.6 rocker at the valve stem on this exhaust, same exhaust valve here. I've been using it all day uh, with my dial indicator set up and I haven't had to move the dial indicator any because I could sneak my two thousandths I could sneak my 2000s feeler gauge in just like that. So you can see, it. if I'm real careful, I can do it around that, just like that. So it's stuck in now. It's very hard to do a 2000s. Typically I just go to zero lash and lash them and then uh, check them later after, they, after they're heated up, up to temperature. But before this engine runs again, all the Harlan Sharps are going on with the correct push rod in. So here's why I believe we lost a little bit of uh, lift there. There's my lifter, rocker arm, valve stem tip, roller, spring. So the shorter push rod comes up at an angle and it hits right here and it cups around this. And you screw the adjuster down and you take those, take that bit of slack out. And as this rotates around, so as the lifter comes upward, I'll just draw you some arrows. As it comes upward, that is going to rotate right here on the shaft. So the shaft is fixed. It's gonna push down on the valve stem, okay? So as it pushes down, the angle right here on that adjuster is gonna change, it's gonna change, it's gonna change. Pretend that's staying the same. And as it changes, it has to eventually stop, peak, and then it circles back down. When we put in a longer push rod, so I'll just draw my lifter down here now, ignore that, we have to screw the adjuster up and it gives you a different plane here. So don't think of this as like a triangle because it's, in my mind, it's not really triangulated. It sort of is, but I think of it as like a kind of uh, ugly sided square, if you will. So there's an angle that goes through here, an angle that goes to there, an angle that comes across here. So if we make that one 90, that's our 190, comes up to there. This triangle right here is opening and closing. Okay, so right, it's gonna be an obtuse triangle all the time anyway, but with a shorter push rod, the angle is actually opened up more here than a longer push rod. So the longer push rod closes the angle. So that's interesting stuff in my mind because we went from, we actually lost, so the shorter had more lift and the long was less. It's all about that geometry. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Definitely read under the comments of this video. There's a lot of guys out there that have a lot more experience with this than I do. But I wanted to share with you because while I was doing the other video, I said I've got those other push rods that I knew were slightly longer than these. So I appreciate y'all watching and I will catch you next time.